Celebrate Southern independence in so uh, ardent a fashion. My friend and I will gladly empty our pockets on the lady's behalf. Thank you, sir. But what? She wouldn't see an extra penny. You cheat us, you teach your girls. Says me, will you, you high and mighty planters bastard? the next 25 years bless you with the same joy, love, and bounty that you have bestowed upon your grateful family. Mother and father on their anniversary. To the woman who has enriched my life beyond measure, my beloved Antonia. And may our eldest son, Jackson, and his dear cousin, Emily, be the next to celebrate nuptial bliss, provided he can get to the church on time. <laughs> now, let's all enjoy ourselves. I'd offer my congratulations, Jackson. If you hadn't just made such a spectacle of yourself, you owe father an apology. It'll be a cold day in hell, little brother, when I take orders from you. Dear cousins, let's remember Proverbs chapter 9, verse 8. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. Thank you for reminding us we're supposed to be general. Let's drink to Virginia's honor and her independence from northern intrusion. To Virginia! 
birthplace of freedom and presidents. Yeah, yeah. Jackson, would you be so kind as to take your father's plate? He's deserted me to give his politicians yet another sermon on the mountain. Well, never gonna be part of that man's world. You don't know nothing about what I want. I sure know what I want. Just bide my time to the secesh and the Yankees beat each other's throats. Girl, I'm gone. First chance I get. I don't want to hear no wild talk like that. Whoa! Jerry Bone got final for Zunza. We're at war. Hey, boy! This morning at half past four. Whoa! I said we head down to Charleston to join in on the fun. We cheer on Beauregard's boys. Cheer hey, little brother. We're going to be doing more than that. We're going to be fighting. Hey, if we stop right now, we can get there before you can shout Jeff Davis. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln's not going to go down without a fight now. Don't let his buster scare you, little brother. Unfortunately, pride can't win a war. I fear the North has too many men and resources. I trust you will not bring a word of such pessimism at the convention. You will be speaking for the family. Antonia, I don't have to be told to uphold the honor of the family. But this war will bring misery and tragedy yes. to so many people. Yes, 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 yes. Right. You always did have a way with words. You know, that was your attraction even when you were with the family. Go on. Then listen to me as a lawyer. Not your husband. Sleep is a noose around the sod's neck, slowly choking it to death. Need I remind you, Henry, that our fortune is in the land and in the slaves which my family has owned for generations. And I would expect you to defend that way of life. Is that clear? So what's your daddy gonna say when he finds out you and me are hunting for a wall? I'm a hot-headed fool. Let's see. Gentlemen, right this way. Here you are, sir. Now there's a pretty one. Afternoon, gentlemen. The cook serving a fine venison stew. Can we get you on ale or cider? Yes. Yes to what, sir? Whatever it is you are serving, that is what I want. What about you, sir? Please excuse my friend who can sometimes forget his manners. Your choice, sir? Whatever you recommend. I know a gentleman when I see one. And when I don't. 
was late to work again because of Doc, so don't be pulling me away. I saw the way those rich bastards is looking at you. Well, I'd serve all the rich bastards from here to hell. Get out of this godforsaken town. I work on a farm a couple miles east. Do you work for Doc? Him work. You're too good for him, Baker. <laughs> What's up to surrender? It just come over the wire. Pretty good. We just won war. <laughs> Come on, man. The rich man's born. You ain't won it yet. You put your hands on me, sir. He put his hands on me. My friend, did I hear you say something about a rich man's war? That's right. Rich man's war. And I roast in hell before I fire one shot on the can of you pampered sons of success slave owners. Dangerous bow in these times. You could do yourself better. You, sir, can mind your own business. And as for you, Mr. Grogan, you can't fire me, I quit. <sighs> miss. I didn't mean for you to lose the job, miss. What's done is done. Well, I'll talk to the innkeeper. It doesn't matter. It's a chilly day, my coat. I know your kind. And what kind is that? Rich man, son, just looking for innocent girls to prey on. You're barking up the wrong tree with me. Then be as honest with me. Why do you prefer that loudmouth firebrand I almost bought? That loudmouth firebrand happens to be my own flesh and blood. He's your brother? Will you slow down? Come on now, I've been chasing you for a mile here. We didn't mean any harm. I did not know it was your brother. Miss, would you please listen to me? This is where I live. It's not quite your style, is it, mister? Doyle. Andrew Jackson Doyle. And I have the honor of addressing Miss... Rebecca Morgan. Pleasure is mine, Miss Morgan. Your hands are too beautiful to wait on tables. Good day, Mr. Doyle. When may I call on you? Tomorrow? The day after? The day after that? Saturday? Sunday? Show me your dance card, Miss Morgan, and I'll fill it up if you let me. Rebecca Morgan, I'm not leaving till I get an answer. I said I am not leaving until I get an answer, Rebecca Morgan. Call on me, Andrew Jackson Doyle. You better be damn sure you never have whiskey on your breath. How are you? Fine, sir. What's got into you, Jackson? You just disappear without saying anything to your mother. I suppose you rode off to join the war like some hot-headed fool. I expect you to come with us to the Virginia Convention. Why? Listen to you give speeches against secession? I have no wish to see my sons die. I will fight for our land. If you love it so much, then accept your responsibility as the oldest son and attend to your duties. My responsibility is to fight for Virginia. The glorious Virginia cavalry may not open its arms to men who have been expelled from VMI. Well, then let Thomas wear the bars. I'll just kill the Yankees. Killing is a two-edged sword, son. There's more manhood in running a thousand acres of Virginia topsoil and strutting your feathers in some useless cockfight. Your mother's planning a Christmas wedding. Kindly discuss the details with Emily as you told your mother you would. You never discussed it with me, father. She's been living with us for 15 years. You can't expect me to marry a woman who's like my sister. I expect you to do what's right for once. Been a self-indulgent little boy long enough. Get your horse and take a wife who's worthy of a doll name. Jackson! Whiskey? 
whiskey that bad? Ooh, I'd hate to be the man you're aiming at, Miss Morgan. Then don't get me mad. I don't intend to. What do you intend? I ask you to wait for me. You going away? There's going to be a war, Rebecca. So you came to say goodbye? It's my land. It's my fight. And I reckon you want me to write you long letters about how I miss your sweet kisses, don't you? Exactly. And you expect me to just pine away here while you and your officer friends do what you will with the fine ladies of the Tidewater. Now, why would I do that? Because I love you. You don't even know me. I want you. You too. But men say one thing and do another. Then marry me. mistress I'm a newly married man Mama. oh Miss Antonia and Mr. Henry be surprised here you are Gabriel Hey, I think we got some fresh pie in the uh, kitchen there. Why don't you check on it for me? Okay, very good. Come on, darling. about what the preacher said. And what did he say? That marriage is forever. It's forever. I love you. How can you love me? You don't even know who I am. Oh what we've done is foolish. It's just plain foolish. Hush, hush. Hush now. Who's afraid of forever when they can spend a kiss on you?
Mr. Davis was again to say before he became president. Oh, Jackson! Oh, you should have come with us. The convention was so exciting. Oh, Jackson, the children and I were witnesses to history. The proud day Virginia threw the Yankee politicians off her back. Ah, it's final. We've seceded. Look at Thomas. The Yankees won't stand a chance. Your brother has already been called to serve in the first Virginia cavalry. Where will you get your commission, Jackson? Father says that I'm not officer material. My shameful oh. past. Who's the lady? The lady is my wife. Rebecca, come meet your new family. Jackson's little brother. And this is brother Thomas, cousin Emily, and our mother and father. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to talk to them and make them understand. Randolph, don't you stand there. Our guest is waiting. Take his arm, my dear. He's offering to escort you. That's what we do here, families of quality. Peddler, Jax. You brought the dog of a peddler in your family's home. You've done some stupid things before, but this is unforgivable. She's better off with her. Exactly. So I'll pass a hand to you, little brother, the proud white knight of Elysian Fields. Now you have brought disgrace on the Doyle name. Oh, the poor Emmy never survived the shame. Have some here, Rebecca. John Randolph, she's already refused our hospitality by telling you she's not hungry. My cousin writes poetry. Do you write poetry, Rebecca? No, I don't. What are your talents, Rebecca? <laughs> Look how much she is, John Randolph. Perhaps you so fine needlepoint embroidery? Play the harp? Speak French or Italian? I know you must do watercolor. Anybody who wears a dress like that on Sunday must be an artiste. No, I don't do any of those things. Then how ever do you fill your days? I work. What did I say? Rebecca has more character in her little finger than all the simpering, fan-fluttering bells and all the cotillions ever held in the state of Virginia. That is enough, you foolish boy. Do you have any idea what you have done to us? How could you choose a wife so unworthy of you? She's common. I will not let you speak about Rebecca like that. She is common. There's no other word for it. You won't accept her? Fine. If my wife is not welcome in this house, then neither am I. We'll both leave. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Yes, me. Please help me upstairs. Course. I believe I'm feeling a little sick. I'll leave your father to deal with the sins of his son. Already with child and she... No. Well, thank God for small favors. At least you hadn't forgotten all the moral standards by which you were raised. 
Don't you preach to me about morality. I'll never leave my wife's bed and sneak down the slave quarters. You think I don't know I'm a little half-brother? I'm your father. If you have any judgment left at all, hold your tongue. You will not destroy my life or ruin my marriage, father! Not from this day on. Jason! Three days! I could have died here by myself. Here. You know I don't read too good. So what does it say? Went to Charlottesville to get married. Married? How could she leave her poor old father? What am I going to do? You old fool! It's your fault! You drive him back out the house the same way you drove mother to an early grave. Never end in work and grief. I should have drowned you the day you was born! Sass me again. that big plant is south of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't be no distant relation, would he? No distant relation. It's his son, Doc. I'll be damned. I'll be damned! Rebecca! Rebecca! Look at that hand. I hope we can let bygones be bygones. Christian, please. Jackson Doyle. You damn well better treat her right. Christian! Christian! Aren't you gonna wish me well? I already did. Welcome to our family! Mr. Doyle, please excuse the, our humble abode. It's been in disrepair since... My, my, my back went out. It, it don't seem fair, do it? The, the tribulations we men of property have to go through. I wonder if I might have a word in private with my wife, Mr. Morgan. You two go on. I'll scare up some spirits for a proper toast in honor of a happy day. You knew who I was, Jackson. You saw where I come from. There's nothing I can do about that. I just want to get out of this godforsaken place. Maybe I fooled you into marrying me. You are, without a doubt, the most exasperating female I have ever met. Well, that won't change, so you're well rid of me. I don't want to be rid of you. Maybe I married you to spy my father. None of that means anything now. Becca, I love you. I just want you to come home with me. You're not even going to be there, remember? There's a war to fight. And what kind of a man would I be if I didn't go? Alive. We took Sumter without losing one man, not one. It'll be a short war, Rebecca, maybe a month. Those Yankees ain't no match for us. And what if I really did love you? And then I lost you. I'm coming back, I swear. One big battle and it'll all be over with. Just wait for me at Elysian Field. That's your home, not mine. I'll come back the day your parents invite me back, and not one day before.
Somebody in charge here. Find out, you tell me. You in this company? I see no company. You an Indian or something? Guess I didn't fool you, did I? Jackson Doyle. Who's this moon? Treat our horse. Down. See, I didn't just find a squaw. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty enough, eh? Yeah. Is that how y'all get ready for the Yankees? Sitting around all day, swilling shot and being mean to horses? Why don't y'all get off your fat tails and show me a fight? Why did he have to say that? Another loudmouth Eastern planter's son. He's having such a nice, lazy afternoon. Actually, I'm you mountain boy's best friend. See, I'm gonna save your hide by teaching you how to be soldiers. But first, you, you need to show me that you know your right foot from your left foot. How about I show you my right fist? See, if this sorry excuse for a company is to be part of J.D.B. Stewart's cavalry! Is that enough? I'm expecting to fight a war without enough uniforms, carbines, and sabers. But how in hell are we supposed to whip the Yankees without soldiers? What's your name? Andrew Jackson Doyle, sir. Have you any military experience? You lose your memory or your tongue? BMI, three years, sir. Why didn't you graduate? Uh, I had a previous engagement with a lady in Richmond, and I missed my final exam, sir. I don't need quitters in my army. I'm no quitter. Then prove it, Sergeant Doyle. Sergeant? I need another one. You're him. I'll give you two weeks to turn this rabble into troops worthy of riding with J.E.B. Stewart. And you better prove me a better judge of character than the commandant who kicked you out of EMI. Dear Rebecca, my first week, and would you believe it, it made me a sergeant. I hope you are keeping your spirits up and your heart for me alone, your loving husband. P.S. Can you believe my little brother, Captain Doyle, will join us shortly to take over our company? You figure go on worrying about your wife. Go tell me you gotta write another letter. You got some sleeping to do before that bugle blow. <laughs> well, what's it gonna matter? You just gotta go outside and lie on your back on the ground again. You know something? My back can't abide a soft cot anymore than my feet can tolerate your damn army boots. What's that colonel figuring on doing? Parading us around in front of the feds and asking them to dance? <laughs> What got you into this war, Moses? Listen to my daddy. Tell me about my grandfather. Blue Coats killed 4,000 Cherokees in the Trail of Tears. But not him. His band hid in the hills. That he gave himself up to save the rest of his family, including me inside my mom's belly. It wasn't for my grandpa, I wouldn't be here today. What happened to him? The 
the bastards hunting. <laughs> well, good night, Jackson. I see your wife in my dreams. I tell you, sit high. <laughs> you behave yourself around my wife, Moses. <laughs> Damn it, Richard, we are supposed to be in a war here. Ooh, you never got your way with that beauty with the sharp tongue, else you wouldn't be talking so much about war. Be careful, Richard. The lady's husband might call you on such familiarity. Oh, I am not worried about the lady's husband. I'm the lady's husband. You're not serious. Why wouldn't I be? A servant girl? She's no servant girl. She's my wife. Of course. My apologies. Looks like these lame excuses for soldiers are finally coming around. Richard Turner, Moses Moon. Yeah, I'm an Indian. And no, I don't scout. Not usually. <laughs> Sergeant, assemble the men. Who the hell is that? Is that who I think it is? You wear a saber well, little brother. Sergeant, I said assemble the troops now. Men, assemble, quickly! Attention! Know what our job is, soldier? To kick the Yankees from here to hell, sir! <laughs> this is not a game here. Is there any man here who knows how we achieve our mission? Tell him, Sergeant Dorm. Speed! Reconnaissance! Surprise! Sir! Exactly. Our mission is to locate the enemy, sound a warning, before they can fire a single shot upon our gallant army. Now, Lieutenant Colonel Stewart has given us our orders. We're to find out if the Yankees are still in Arthur's Ferry. And men, we ride at dawn. <laughs> Rebecca's gonna have a baby, but you know what I mean. Isn't that crazy? Sergeant, calm down now. What did you do? Take a dose of salt or something? I said I'm gonna have a baby. Be happy for me, little brother. Congratulations, Jackson. Oh, I got letters to write. <laughs> <laughs> Who's here, sweetheart? It, it, it's our kin coming to pay their respects. Jackson wrote us about your glad tidings, my dear. Time for you to come home be with your family, Rebecca. I appreciate your offer, Mr. Doyle, but I can't go with you. If you'll excuse me, I have some work to do. Why would you refuse our generosity? Because you don't really want me there, do you, Mr. Doyle? My wife and I... Your wife and you made it pretty damn clear. Y'all think I'm common as dirt. I belong right here where I am. Hear me out. Wait. You're my son's wife. You belong with us during this difficult time. And at least we have one concern in common. 
What's that? The welfare of your baby. You'll have proper care at Legion Field. around all day and get the saddles all playing and follow the leader till daddy calls us home? Now, where are the damn Yankees? Probably asking where we are. Uh-huh. Well, this is Wall. Send me on home so at least I can look at some pretty girls. Well, Y'all hear that? It's Steve Locomotive. You boys wait here. Captain's got to hear about this. Thomas! Thomas, did you hear that? A Steve Locomotive. Captain, that means we're within striking distance of the Yankee Railroad. I know, Sergeant. It's on my map. Outside the parameters of our mission. But, Captain, we'd... we have done what we set out to do. Lieutenant, we're turning back. Oh, I'm serious. What if that train is hauling supplies? New rifles and a barrel of biscuits are sure improve this troop's morale. I just gave you a moment, Sergeant. Permission to speak to the Captain in private, sir. Here we go. Permission granted. Lieutenant Gaines, take charge of the men. Yes, sir. All right. Speak your piece, Sergeant. Okay, fine. We'll be Captain and Sergeant from now until the end of the war, which may be tomorrow or next week, for all we know. But it's your big brother. I'll be damned if I can't claim my right to speak my mind when I want... Sergeant, Sergeant I gave you forever saying, Sergeant, I just gave you an order. The hell with you. I remember a brother with poetry in his soul. That was before Henry Doyle ordered at least one of his sons to graduate from VMI with honors. Do you think he respects you for it? He doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself. And you do? I think you got more in common with father than you would care to admit. Our whole lives we've been living by the rules of another man. It's time to break out, little brother. Together. What do you say? Now, let's start with the possibility of a supply train. I have my orders. And you have yours. And don't call me little brother. Jackson! Jackson, what did he say? The captain has ordered us not to follow that train, but Jackson Doyle has something else in mind. Boys, that mule's been giving us trouble all day long, hasn't he? Yes, sir. That good man's so stubborn, he's gonna quick step right on out of here, isn't he? Yes, sir. Now, that mule has just run off of the... I bet you case the rifle, it's right over that next rise. Come on, boys. Sunshine came along with thee and swallowed in the air. My maid has beautiful chestnut hair, smells like spring clover. Do we really have to keep listening to any more of your moaning about your wife? You got a wife? I don't even have a girlfriend. It'll come. It'll come. You boys don't seem all that different from us. Why'd you have to fire on that fort and start a war? Down here. Zach, 
No talking to the prisoners. You Rebs, keep your trap shut. Tie these guys up back to back. Keep them closed during the day to keep the heat out. I can take care of this myself. This all you got? Tamsin, you know we don't open drapes until we retire. The lamp light attracts insects. I open them. I was sweating. Horses sweat, Rebecca. Men perspire. Ladies. My apologies for not giving you a proper reception, Rebecca. I dare not trust the servants for such a delicate enterprise as candle making without proper supervision. Some do more damage than good. I do hope you'll feel at home here at the Legion Fields, Rebecca. That's a hope I share, Mrs. Doyle. Supper's at seven. Mr. Doyle prizes punctuality. and iron these dresses of y'all. Well, these are clean. I didn't say they weren't. This muslin has got a loose hem. I can fix that right up. I can take care of it myself. Thank you. What do you want me to do? You could go back to work. You is my work. Master Doll say I'm your wedding gift. Or they gonna put me back in the fields. Miss Antonia, she say, she say, good riddance. What do you say, ma'am? I don't know what to say. This is also different. A servant as a wedding gift? A slave. You boys asleep yet? Not very likely, with us trussed up here like a Thanksgiving turkey and you stopping by all the time. Them ropes weren't my idea. Besides, my relief comes in another hour, so I won't be bothering you no more. What's your name? Zach. Well, if you mind me giving you the rough side of my tongue, I think you can uh, appreciate uh, my predicament here. Yeah. Well, good night. Not Zach. Jackson, let's get the hell out of here. How are we gonna do that? Burn the rope. Freedom comes at a price. Whatever the price, then let's pay it. Push up. Go away, go away. you're reading, Miss Rebecca. Now this is called a dictionary. See, it's got every word of the whole English language in it. Come here. It's powerful, big. Mm. You read it all? Not yet, but I will. See, that's how you get smarter. You teach yourself a new word every day, and then you're as good as anybody else. 
You should have got it where there was better job. I mean, just not my word. What's your word? My name, Gabriel. Let's look. Let's look it up together. There it is. See? G-A-B-R-I-E-L. Gabriel. One of the archangels of the Bible. Helder of good news and comfort. Your mother needs you in the kitchen, Gabriel. Yes, ma'am. No breaking the law of Virginia, Rebecca. Negros are forbidden to read and write. He wasn't reading, I was. You were showing him how, weren't you? Don't let it happen again. Yeah. Well, I don't see how that... Obviously, there is a great deal you do not see, Rebecca. Jackson would be shocked if he knew you were deliberately undermining the discipline of the border. I wasn't. If you expect to be a part of this family, you will respect our rules and our values. Jackson, you are the old man. Most of those Yankees are out there looking for us. We go in, we grab the supply, and we don't go back in the end. If they don't catch us again. We know these woods better than they do. Let's go. Excuse me. This is mine. Get away! found the Yankee supply train. You robbed a train? Do you realize the enemy could have followed you back in? You have jeopardized this entire mission. I could have you up on charges of insubordination. What's going on here, Captain? My lost patrol, sir. Reporting back with one man wounded. Get this man inside, now! The sergeant and his army confiscated enemy supplies. Tell the lieutenant colonel. Six crates of carbine, sir. And I don't know how many boxes of cartridges, sir. So you robbed a federal supply train? Yes, sir. Did you order this extremely risky patrol, Captain? Yes, sir. Damn good work. Risk is part of scouting strategy if it's calculated, which two bright young men like you have obviously done. No doubt you're about to recommend your sergeant here for a commission. Yes, sir. Sergeant. I hereby commission you a lieutenant of cavalry. It'll be forwarded to the general my next report. Carry on. I've gathered you here this morning because one among us has sullied his Christian duty. Gabriel, come here, child. 
You must learn that when you sin against your earthly master, you sin against God. You don't want that now, do you, child? No, ma'am. Swear it before God, Gabriel. I, I swear. That's a good boy. Now your sin must be cleansed, Mr. Jensen. Miss Antonio. Please, please, please. No, Ruby, he must learn. He didn't mean any harm. Why did you do it? Mrs. Doyle, it was my fault. You are not to interfere. Peyton, please no, Miss no, Rebecca no, back no, into the house. No, won't that hit me? Please, God. Hit me instead of my boy. So be it. The flesh is one. <gasps> Into that incident with Gabriel. No one, neither you nor any overseer, is ever to whip another slave on this plantation. Me, I will not be humiliated any longer. Do you understand me? I want Ruby and that bastard of yours out of my house. Your house? Why, well, you were land poor when we met, ready to put your father's plantation on the block. I may not have been of your class, but you needed me then. I saved your precious Elysian fields. But you obviously love far more than you ever Just loved me. Just get rid of them, do you understand me? Get rid of them both or I swear to God I'll kill you.
Uncle Henry and Aunt Antonia. The way they're helping our brave young boys in uniform. Sending them food and supplies, which are becoming hard to come by these days since Fort Sumter. Yes. Jackson wrote and said that the army seems to be short of everything. You know, Rebecca, I... I admit that I was resentful for you marrying Jackson. And, well, that's why I was being so mean to you. Well, I just hope that somehow, despite everything, we can still be friends. Well, I'd like to believe that, Emily. Well, I just wish Aunt Antonia would let you go along with Peyton to his camp. I know how much you want to be with your Jackson. Well, I, I don't think Aunt Antonia would let me go. She, she said I... Believe me, I know my aunt. Well, she'd say I'd do anything to keep the two of you apart. And I sure wouldn't trust a slave like Peyton. He'd sell off half that wagon, pocket the money, and be gone, and who'd ever know? Unless, of course, someone would go with him. Excuse me, Emily. Peyton, you almost loaded? Yes, ma'am. Peyton, I want you to take me with you. No, ma'am. Miss Antonia skinned Miss me Miss Antonia doesn't have to know. My hands have changed, Miss Rebecca. What do you mean? I just got word from Master Jackson. He's had some trouble. What trouble? Where is he? Now, the trouble they had stopped him from going back to his encampment. He's staying with a family friend at their place. You know where this family's place is? Yes, ma'am. Then let's go. Well, you know Miss Antonio won't allow that. Them hills gonna be crawling with Union Cavalry. Well, she doesn't have to know, does she? Peyton, I want to see my husband. taking me with you. I won't forget it. Good night. Uh, good night, Miss Becker. Sir, then fell off a horse. She might be a rebel spy. Is she all right? Put her on my kind. She's my sister.
You're the Union Army camp. What are you doing in this uniform? I joined the Yankee Cavalry. But you're a Virginian. No, I'm not one of them. They're fighting to keep their slaves, treating folk like us as working dolls. I don't know what to think anymore. I've seen them beat their slaves, and they gave me a girl as a slave. No. Nothing simple anymore, Christian. How is she? She's a very lucky girl. Come back. Major Hawk. Ma'am. Sir. I regret what happened to you, but you shouldn't have run from my men. But I was scared. I had no idea what they were doing to me. Bring the Negro in. You, come on in. Peyton, what happened? The horses run off with the wagon, Miss Rebecca. By the time I catch him, the Union Patrol will see me. This man is your servant? Yes, of course. I told the commander who was taking them hams and things up to your kin up in the hills. They don't believe me. So you tell them, Miss Rebecca. Why would you doubt my servant, Major? This war has been hard on all of us. I'm just trying to help my family. Since you're the sister of one of my men, I've decided to let you go. But you'll have to complete your journey alone. Your Negro stays with us. Major, you can't do that. But, sir, I'm sorry, Private, but this man is contraband. My orders are to take into custody every slave found in enemy territory. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Take this man to the wagon. I'll question him again later. Ma'am. Christian, what do I do? I'll talk to the Major. I can't believe you're fighting for the Yankees. They got no right to be on our land. Plan of land. Not one acre with my name on it. Then again, my name in Dog. You're gonna be an uncle, Christian. Congratulations. Do you really love him? Or did you just marry to get out of the mean old drunkard's home? I wanted him bad. But do you really love him? Maybe too much. That's why you're risking your neck. Take this food to his unit. Are you going to confiscate it? Little sister, I'm not about to do anything that'll hurt you. Then get Peyton back for me. How'd the two of you get separated? He ran off from you, didn't he? I reckon. I can't say I blame him, though. But I need Peyton to get that food to Jackson. You had it in mind to hop the freedom train north, right? There's no use in denying. We help you get there. First, you're gonna have to go back to Legion Fields. Legion Fields. That's the last place I wanna go. You and Mr. Henry Dawes house. He's advisor to Jeff Davis himself. Don't you think Massa might know about military plans that could help the Union Army? Help your cause. Son, you're gonna have to stay in the enemy camp if you're gonna be Union spy. How I know I ain't gonna be a slave up north, same as it is down south. You had my word. And Major Hawkins. We need your help if we're gonna win this war. One other thing. My sister knows nothing of this. Watch over her with your life. You do that, you'll be a free man. You got my word. No calls to shake hands until you keep yours. Fair enough. Get those horses in the trees, boys, quickly. Come on out. Jackson, I'm sorry. You're all right. I'm a certified jackass. Well, there's a beginning for you, Richard. <laughs> Here 
Don't put Aunt Ellie and any of your kids in any danger. Those Yankees are patrolling these hills all over the place, and some of your neighbors are favor on the north. The Yankees are all through here, threatening to burn down any house that's harboring a rib. Guess there's a big battle brewing. Jackson! The wagon! Wagon cover! Hold it. That's our Peyton! God, it's Rebecca! Rebecca! You shouldn't be jumping out of wagons like that in your condition. Oh, well, what happened? How did you get here? Oh, it's all right. I'm too tired to explain. Just hold me. Hold me. Don't ever stop. Not over here, good. But why'd I have to leave now, Jackson? Why would you took too many chances just to get here? I was scared. I didn't want to lose you. Rebecca... This war is not what I expected. I, I can't even begin to explain it to you. Now, there's going to be a big battle about to happen here, and I don't want you to get caught in it. Did you just let me stay just for a little bit? It's too dangerous now. You must think of our baby. I do. All the time. For the life, Jackson. Don't you wonder what it'll look like? Yes, it'd be beautiful like his mother. So can you blame me now? I want you both safe back at the Legion Fields? No! Just go! And no more arguments! Now you sound like your mother. Maybe you think she was right about a lot of things. That I'm common and brazen. Brayden, I'm ready! I'm sorry I came! The last thing I want to do is cause you more worry! I'm not gonna let you leave like this. Stop! Put me down! I'm done on my tongue! Leave me alone! Rebecca! Rebecca, stop it now! Rebecca, stop it! Leave me alone! Rebecca! Rebecca, now stop it! You're acting like a little girl! That's how I feel sometimes with you! Just like a little girl who lost her way home and when she finally gets there, she still doesn't know if anybody loves her! You know I love you! I don't know that! I got a sharp tongue and a mean streak. And I tricked you to marry me. You didn't trick me into anything. Damn it, I love you. And I'm gonna make you know that if it is the last thing I do on this earth. Don't say that. in Richmond, but I think there'll be a sweet peach or two left for you when you get that leg dancing hey, again. I'm gonna go get the doctor. Right, you rest up now, friend. Hey, don't forget to save me some Yankees, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just hope you'll never put us through such an ordeal again. We were all just so worried. Oh, what is it? Oh, uh, I, I just need to lay down for me. I can just imagine your dear the poor child has been through. I'll take it to her. I can take care of myself. You help her, whether she wants to or not. Well, at least let me help you up the stairs. Oh, you look awful. We prayed for you every day you were gone. I bet. Please, God, let that common thing fall a pit and never come out. A 
Rebecca, whatever you're talking about. You're a liar and a sneak and the most miserable excuse for a lady I ever saw in my life. I'm going to do to you what your mama should have done to you years ago. Don't you touch me. I'll call Aunt Antonia. Now, the Union has a substantial army here, beyond the Blue Ridge, about 60 miles west of their capital. So we have positioned a sizable force here to prevent them from invading the Shenandoah Valley. We are to be the eyes and the ears of that force. But isn't the main federal army massing here, outside of Washington? Yes, but that army is not our concern. But what if they try to drive through eastern Virginia? And General Beauregard's forces have gathered here near Manassas to repel them. We have our own Yankees to try and tie but down. But, Captain, we could miss the first big battle. We have our orders, Lieutenant. <sighs> Lieutenant Colonel Stewart just gave us our orders. Ask me personally to give these to you. We're to guard Johnson's flank. All our regiments are headed to Manassas. The battle we've been waiting for. Your chance to ride to glory. Thomas already killed a man. There's nothing glorious about it. I've been writing you hard. Some of the things I said, I want to take the words back as soon as they left my mouth. Can you forgive me? Little brother, if I counted all the awful things I said about you, I'd never be able to go to sleep at night. <laughs> you as hungry as me? All my life, I've been jealous of you. Jealous of your strength. You know? You're with the ladies. <laughs> I sure ain't big you anyway. It always seem like I got the scraps from your table. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I do. You always run as capitalist. The hope of the future. And even when I tried to live up to those high standards that Father set, I always knew I was being measured against what he believed you were destined to me. I guess I'm not making a whole lot of sense here, Jackson. What I'm trying to say is, I'm just so tired of being jealous of you. Because I love you, Jackson. I do.
It's Louisiana Zoologs. Don't shoot, boys. We're the Virginia first. Damn those bastards. The Yankees. a lot harder after you hold him in your arms. It was three and four the last time I saw him. They'd be about seven or eight by now. If they lived, they alive, miss. Somewhere down at rivers where they sold before I came here. But they did to me now. Babies for you and Jackson. I wanted this one. Nature kills its own. The weak ones who can't endure this veil of tears. Seven children are born, Mr. Doyle. Four are buried. Three still live. The family will go on. How do you? God's will, Rebecca. Only the strong survive. Thomas!
Jackson. Thank you for bringing him home. anything to ease your pain. God help me, Jackson, but I can't stop thinking that could have been you. A lot of good men died that day. On both sides. And it's just begun. To really have to be like this? Is there no other way? I guess we couldn't find it. What, did we even try? What are we gonna do? Just go on. Do what we have to do. We're still a family, Rebecca. We love each other. And not war, not even death can ever take that away. Go on.
Next on Channel 3's 11 at 11, angry Hampton residents expand their boycott. Coming up next on Channel 3's 11 at 11, CBN's Pat Robertson reveals his choice pick for the 1996 presidential election. We'll have that story and more next on Channel 3's 11 at 11, Hampton Road's number one news source.